All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly get and find your sum of the squared residuals if we're comparing a, uh, two sets of um, variables and a linear model. So what I need you to do is I need you to go to this Home button and go to this spreadsheet. And I'm going to go back to the tab that I was just in. And I want you to put in some data. Uh, put in the data that I have here, but before you do that, it's really, really important. You're not going to be able to do what we need to unless you label your columns. So if you're having a hard time with this and you're wondering why is it not working, it's probably because you need to label your columns. And so for the sake of this problem, we can just call this first column X and the second column Y. So go ahead and do that and enter in this data. So you might want to pause the video so you can get that all that entered in. And the last thing I'll tell you before we go on to the next step is after you type in this last number, like negative 5, you must hit the enter button or move out of that cell. If you just leave the cursor in there, you're going to get what's called a mismatch error. Because in a minute, we're going to be going to create a scatter plot. And it's not going to recognize 3 being paired up with another value for y. And so it'll say, well, there's a mismatch in your data or what I call the mismatch error. So make sure after you type in the last number to hit enter. And if you do get that mismatch error, all you have to do is just go back to this tab and hit enter and then go back to your scatter plot. All right, so how do we get a scatter plot? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the home button or the on button where we see all these options. And we're going to graph our data. Now we do not want to go to this graph because that's where we go to graph an equation. We don't have that. We're going to go to what looks like a histogram. Now this is not a scatter plot. All they've done is they've just thrown the points on, a screen, on our screen for us. So what we need to do is we need to organize this data into our two axes. Now you could do this a long way. The long way would be to, because you have a touchpad, so you could use your touchpad to scroll down and click down here and then scroll over here, which seems easy enough, but it's a lot faster if you just hit the tab button. That's what I like to do. If you hit the tab button, a menu will come up here for what do you want on the bottom axis. Well, that's going to be our X values. And then hit the tab button again, and you can select the Y axis for the left side. Now that is a scatter plot. The next thing, in order to get the sum of the squared residuals, is the next thing we're going to do is find the regression line. Okay, we can't get the sum of the squared residuals without a regression line. So we're going to go to Menu, Analyze, Regression. Now there's all these different options for what kind of regression lines you want to do, but we're going to show linear, the very first one there. Show linear in the form mx plus b, not the second one, the first one. So here we could see our equation. Okay, now that we have our linear equation or a linear model there, the next step is to find the sum of the squared residuals. So if we go to menu, analyze, residuals, now this wasn't a bit, this wasn't an option before, so if you try to get to this before uh, having a line you will not have this option. But now that we have the line there, we can see that now we have two options here. We could show residual squares or show the residual plot. We're going to do show residual squares. And so now we can see the sum of the square residuals is about 1.9. So that is a quick and easy way to be able to get your sum of your residual squares.